Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at and solving a challenging geometry problem. So let's get straight into it. A square is inscribed inside a quadrant of a circle. The circle has radius 10. What is the area of the square? So firstly, let's label the side length of the square as x. And now let's label some of the points on the diagram. We'll call the centre of the circle O, the endpoints of the sector A and B, and we'll call the vertices of the square C, D, E, and F. So if we label the midpoint of side FE as G, and we draw the line OG and extend it so that it hits the circle, we can see that the figure is clearly symmetrical about this line. So what this means is that line OC is equal to line OD. And this means that triangle OCD is isosceles. And since angle COD is a right angle, this means that both angle OCD and angle ODC must be 45 degrees. Now, let's draw in the diagonal of the square DF. Now, since a square has four right angles, angle FED is clearly 90 degrees. And we also have that both side FE and DE are sides of the square, so they've both got side length X. So now, triangle DFE is a right triangle. We know the length of the legs. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of df. We have that de squared plus fe squared equals df squared. Now de is x and fe is x. So de squared is going to be x squared, as is fe squared. So this gives us that df squared equals 2x squared. So therefore, df is equal to x root 2. And we'll label this in our diagram. Now, since line DE is equal to line FE, triangle DFE is isosceles. And this means that angles EFD and FDE are equal. Now, since angle DEF is a right angle, this means that both angle EFD and FDE are 45 degrees. And we also have that angle CDF is equal to angle CDE minus angle FDE which is 90 degrees minus 45 degrees, or 45 degrees. So we'll label this in our diagram. And now what we notice is that angle ODF is 45 degrees plus 45 degrees. So we can just replace it with a right angle. So if I draw in the line OF now, it looks like a radius of the circle. And we were told that the circle has radius 10. So we can label that in as having side length 10. So this gives us a right angled triangle triangle ODF. So we'll draw this to the side. And we'll also label in the side lengths that we know. Now once again we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the length of OD. So we have FD squared plus OD squared equals OF squared. FD is x root 2, so FD squared is going to be 2x squared. And OF is 10, so OF squared is going to be 100. Now we have OD squared equals 100 minus 2x squared, so therefore OD equals the square root of 100 minus 2x squared. And I'll label this in the diagram. Now we also figured out that line OC had the same length as OD. So this means that line OC is also going to have length root 100 minus 2x squared. And now if we look at triangle OCD, which I'm going to draw in, We know that both line OC and OD have length root 100 minus 2x squared. And also, line CD is a side of the square. And we established that the square has side length x. So we can also label in that CV has length x. So now if we use Pythagoras' theorem on this right angle triangle, we have OC squared plus OD squared is equal to CD squared. OC is root 100 minus 2x squared, as is OD, and CD is x, so CD squared is going to be x squared. Now expanding out the left hand side of the equation, we get 100 minus 2x squared plus 100 minus 2x squared is equal to x squared. Now solving for x, we get 5x squared equals 200, or x squared equals 40. Now the question asked us to find the area of the square. Now clearly, uh, a square with side length x is going to have area x squared. 
So our answer is 40. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments how you found it and share it with a friend to see if they can solve it too.